Welcome to the CA Cox 97 tier list. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard video procedures today. This is a video response to CA Cox 97's most recent tier list, which was his ranking on Nerf War videos by the YouTuber CA Cox 97. I'm making this response because I truly believe he does not have the right to properly judge those videos. I mean, who does he think he is? The guy who made them or like the biggest fan of CA Cox 97? I'm the biggest fan of CA Cox 97. Only me. My name is even a ripoff of his because I couldn't think of anything better and still haven't. For real though, CA Cox 97, Chris, has been a major influence on my life. Watching his Nerf War videos was some of the most iconic moments of my childhood. His gaming videos inspired me to create my own YouTube channel as a kid. I failed at that though because I was a talentless prepubescent garbage person and there's a reason why there's over 100 private videos on this channel. His continued ventures into more professional filmmaking continues to motivate me into pursuing my own personal projects. But anyways, on to the ranking. First up, Nerf Ward the Candy Bar. This is a classic video. It's his most popular video somehow. I genuinely do not know how because it is literally just three people fighting over a candy bar with Nerf guns. I gotta give mad props to this for the excellent sound design. Foreboding.mp3 really hits you hard. It goes and then it goes wow and then it goes wow and then it goes wow and then finally when you least expect it we have to fight about this. but other than that you know it's fun it's nostalgic for me to go back to this video but overall it's just kind of mess i think i agree with chris perfectly this one solidly goes into d tier doing it oh candy bar. <laughs> she, just, she just walks over her dead kids <laughs> <laughs> Second, we got friend versus friend. This one's really simple. It literally has no premise. The other video was dad wants candy bar, kid wants candy bar, other kid wants candy bar. What do they do? They fight to the death. That's a pretty good setup. For this video, there is no premise. I guess these are her friends. They don't really even say that. They just, it's just titled friend versus friend. I gotta say though, I honestly think this video is better than candy bar because it's shot a little more interestingly. It makes a little more sense and it's a really quick, quick silver cameo. Definite C tier for me. Really quick, before we continue the rest of the tier list, I'm just gonna put up everything I pretty much agree with Chris on. Ooh, look at that. The only two that came up was Raider War and Liberation. That's because the rest of Chris's tier list is objectively wrong. He doesn't know anything about the videos. As a matter of fact, in the video, he states this exact quote on screen. Nerf Raider War goes into B tier. So the thing about this video is that it's actually pretty fun. That's all these videos have to be. I mean, they're just Nerf War videos made by some kids and their parents. Nerf War Liberation, on the other hand, classic video. This is a classic, classic video. Definitely one of the videos that's been made. Just kidding. Liberation is not very good. I mean, the guys get hurt by Nerf bullets. Like, wow. Since when was phone lethal? The next video is titled Nerf War. Very creative title. Just kidding. This one sucks. This one's horrible. Chris is a kid. Just so you know, you made a horrible video. Why is it horrible? I don't know. I didn't see it. I couldn't find this video on YouTube. I don't know if I'm stupid or something, probably, but I couldn't find it. So the only footage I have to go off is what was in the tier list video by Chris and it looks okay. So automatic F tier. Next up on the tier list. Nerf War Vengeance. So. Hey, this isn't your tier list. Get out of here. What? Aside from the fact that the video is really, really dark, it's actually one of my favorites. It actually has a lot of great cuts, got a lot more physicality involved with this fighting. And when they bring out some of the swords and knives in this one, it goes up to another level. The fact that they were able to make this with foam swords is honestly nothing short of incredible. Although a, a little bit of a problem with this is that they're using foam swords to fight each other as if that's gonna like kill one of them. It's like, wow, since when was foam lethal? Vengeance is easily one of the most high quality nerf wars he's ever done. It's got that action, it's got that high stakes drama. That ammo? Dunno. You? Guess we'll find out. No! It also has Camden doing sick moves before he gets completely vaporized. Oh. 
No, the mom one, that's a lie. Easily a solid A tier. The Assassin. The setup for this one is that this man, who is very clearly played by C.A. Cox 97, wants someone else to go kill C.A. Cox 97. What's really striking in The Assassin is cinematography. This video actually made me realize there was a lot of work put into the shots of these videos. Shot composition in action scenes isn't something everyone gets, so it's nice to see someone really young create interesting angles that keep a nice pacing with the fight. But this is a solid a B tier. Next one is All is Fair in Love and Nerf. I know a white person who is dating a black person, and it's all like Barack Obama thing. It's creepy. What the fuck? Definitely going in the A tier. Wait, that was just a video titled CA Cox 97 Sucks. I ah, sorry, I mistook it because that's what I think of Chris's opinion on all his fair and love and nerf in his tier list. It's very clearly an A tier, Chris. Next one, CA Cox 97 shout out. Hi, Hi YouTube. Um, sorry. Video again. Oh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. My ears are ringing. Oh. Um, this is also not a CA Cox 97 video, is it? Apologies for the mix-up, guys. Nothing like this will ever happen again. Next up is Procurement. Now, this was a pretty good one. I remember Hello, loving this one as a kid. Uh, um, like a whole lot. It's a lot different than I remember, though. I didn't remember it just being a video of a kid's face. Oh, this is a video. This is trying to promote CA Cox 97, but he put Promation. I confused it with Procurement. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry guys, oh. But that means I accidentally skipped over another one, which was Revenge. <coughs> this is a sequel to Nerf War, the one that I couldn't find earlier. Well, see, I uh, couldn't find this one as well, so automatically F tier, worst one ever, of all time bad, really bad. You can tell they did it bad because you, you can't find the video. I'm right in this case, as always, being the number one CA Cox 97 fan. You might ask, why am I the number one CA Cox 97 fan? Well, it's like someone who's forklift certified. If they say they're forklift certified, you don't ask. You don't want to know how they became forklift certified. And for procurement, this one is really mediocre, honestly. You can tell it was one they made pretty quickly. The title doesn't even have a connection to the video at all. I don't know what procurement means, but whatever it means, I'm sure it doesn't really relate a lot to two random kids fighting. It doesn't really have much in terms of interesting angles or interesting movements or interesting fights or anything. <laughs> it's not like it's completely unentertaining. It's not like the worst one. It's mid. Very mid. I do always love it whenever they bring out the big guns though, because I like seeing it when a kid is absolutely murdered. E tier. Next up we got um, Sonic High School. This, oh wait. This is a Jaycox98 video. I fucking hate that dude. God damn, F tier. The Assassin 2. The Assassin 2 opens up with a shocking twist. The guy from last time who we thought died is actually alive, even though he was shot 600 times in the chest. He had a bulletproof vest on, so he's okay. Once again, banger video. Um, I always love more kids getting just annihilated. This Nerf War is fantastic. It's got this moving energy going off the charts. Feels like I'm floating on a river taking me from one intense gunfight to the next, to the next, to the next in this momentous flow that just never ceases. Really fun video. I'm thinking S. Yes. Speaking of S tier, Infiltration. This war has all the components of a highbrow action movie, and it's the most like one too. A much more serious tone than past videos. Darker lighting, bigger weaponry, more people to kill, a plot twist that doesn't really make sense, but somehow still works, and hits that look way too realistic. I really hope none of these kids suffered head trauma after this. And then it has this really cool ending where the bad guys win. Bro. How often do you even see that in a movie? Come on, that is so cool. Objectively, this is Chris's best video, but I personally prefer The Assassin 2. I'm not sure why, maybe it has something to do with The Assassin 2 being a bit more comedic and Infiltration just being purely serious. Whatever the reason, Infiltration is not that far behind The Assassin 2. Instant classic S tier. Last up, 
a very nerf Christmas. This video unfortunately suffers from too dark syndrome, but this problem is quickly fixed in the video once Camden wakes up and finds Chris opening his Christmas presents. Camden's eyes light up the room with a fire that says, I'm gonna kill you and no one's ever gonna find your body because you opened my Christmas presents. Then they fight and then Santa shows up. Sup? I ain't got much more to say. It's a really fun video. And I didn't expect to like a Nerf War Christmas special as much as I did. This is a A tier, honestly. And that's the tier list. This is, of course, objective fact, as I am the number one CA Cox 97 fan. Chris, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you for anybody who bothered to watch all this. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, all these videos are horrible because Wow, since when was phone lethal? Make the next tier list be ranking all your Nerf gun reviews. Okay, bye.